Hi everybody and welcome to the 15mm Fantasy Football Project. This is my attempt to create a small-scale fantasy football game so you can bring it with you, save space or whatever and still have some really cool and great gaming fun. And for this project I have used my 3D printer. And as I have mentioned in my previous videos, I do not have a fancy 3D printer at all. You can do it with just a regular hobby 3D printer. Of course, there is a size limit for the print, so that is why I have the pitch here divided into two separate halves. So if you have a printer, the next thing you need is the files. And in this case, the files have to be bought. So you can find this fantasy football pitch and it will cost you about 10 bucks or something and you will get the pitch, you will get the score counter here, you will get bounce, tables, everything you need and you will also get six included teams so you can get started with matches right away. And the players are in 15 millimeter scale and they have all the positions you need to play Death Ball and also Blood Ball. The pitch size is the same as Blood Ball 7s and you get six different teams that you can print and paint right away. If your favorite fantasy football team is not one of the six included with the pitch, well, then you can find your team because Additional teams can be bought and they will cost you almost nothing. And then you will get the files for exactly the team you want. In this case, for example, Dark Elves. Typically, there are four to six different player positions, more than enough to have a game of Death Ball. All in all, you will print the pitch and the teams in just about a day or two, and then you're ready to paint. So let's put some paint on a dwarf team here, and my guide to painting these small 15mm miniatures is to find two, three, maybe four colors, and then go with them for each team. Next up, the pitch itself. I base coated the pitch black and then gave it a heavy dry brush of gray and then some white and well you can probably do better than I can here but it's just to show you that it's pretty easy to get a gray look for the pitch put in the counters here and on the pitch you also have the boxes for knocked out and injured players everything is there and I should mention that, of course, you can glue the two pitch halves together, like I have done here. You can also get the pitch with hinges if you want, so it will take up even less space. So here we have the final 15 millimeter death ball pitch and a dwarf and a dark elf team ready to play. If you haven't done so already, I will recommend to check out my video about Death Ball, the introduction and tutorial to Death Ball 2023. But all the rules, with one exception, will be exactly the same in this mini version. The only difference is that when measuring how long a shooter can throw the ball, we will use centimeters instead of inches. That is the only difference between regular death ball and mini death ball. And here we have a size comparison of the mini players next to regular sized fantasy football players. You can also check one of my other 15 millimeter projects here, one page rules strike force and a size comparison between the death ball mini pitch and the strike force battlefield. I'll put all the links in the description. But there is one thing we still miss before we can have a game of death ball, and that is, of course, the ball. So here is a mini ball. That's one option you can use for your matches. Another option 
is to print a ball token. It's exactly the same as the ball, but it will not roll around. And it's also easier to put in the same square as the players. And then a third and final option is to use a ball complete with a base. So it will be more solid on the pitch, but it's also bigger. But no matter what you choose, you can find them all free on Thingiverse. So let's get started with a Death Ball mini demo game. And the Dark Elves are up first. So this Dark Elf lineman will go for the ball, one good activation, and he will pick up the ball. And next up, the second Dark Elf lineman. Two attempts, but only one good activation. Now the Witch Elf, and she is a Dodger in this case, she will roll three activation dice, but she will only have one good. So the turn will pass to the dwarves. And we have a couple of dwarf brawlers. And, well, no, two failed activations. So play will pass back to the dark elf team. And now the witch elf will attempt two activations. One of them is good. So she'll move to the right side of the pitch. And the shooter, two activations, so he will follow. They will try to break through at the right side. And the ball carrier will also have two activations out of three attempts. So one move and then he will attempt to shoot the ball. So this is where the only difference between the regular size death ball and the mini death ball that you measure in centimeters here. So he will attempt to shoot, he will add his skill and he will need to roll six or more. And a roll of five plus his skill of two is good. So he will pass the ball and it looks like they are about to score. Well, now there is a failed activation attempt. The turn will pass to the dwarves, so they will have a chance now to stop the dark elves. And the lineman with one activation, he will try to block the way. Now a brawler. They line up with two brawlers in the dwarf team and they play this game with the slow but sturdy trait. And that means they can only move three squares, but they will subtract one, two rolls when they are slammed to the ground. That makes them sturdy and very hard to take out, but they are slow. All the different player positions and all the different traits will be available in the rules. But now look what happened here. The dwarf slammed the witch elf to the ground and the roll was 12. And that means she is injured. She's taken out of this match. And what happens to her? A roll of two. So she's out of this match, but she will be ready for the next one. If the dark elves were playing in a league, she would have missed this game. And it could have been far worse. She could have been killed or a little less worse. She could have missed the next game. And now the dwarf failed their activations. It's the Dark Elves again. They have lost one of their players. They must complete the match with only four players on the pitch. Let's see what they can do. And attack. It's a roll of six. So the dwarf will be hit. And with seven, he's taken down. Stunned. There's still one dwarf in the way. So somehow the Dark Elves must try to work their way around two activations. And an attempt to move out of a control zone will give the Dwarf Brawler a free attack. He will have plus one. He only needs a three. So the Dark Elf is hit. And a roll of seven will slam the Dark Elf to the ground with the ball. The ball will bounce now. And it will bounce in a straight direction back towards the Dark Elf end zone. But only one single square. So the ball will be free on the ground. 
that will not end the Dark Elf turn, but yeah, they will have an attempt to pick up the ball again. He will try three activations, and two of them are good. So he will now have to pick up the ball. He needs a roll of three. Well, he's good. The ball is back on Dark Elf hands. And this game is just an example that you can easily play Death Ball in this mini 15mm version. It's small and it's easy to store and take with you and it works quite well here in my experience even though it's of course smaller. If you want more Death Ball I will highly recommend to check out the Death Ball League matches on my channel where six Death Ball teams compete in the Death Ball League. Two teams will be relegated and one team of course will be the season champion so far. Four games have been played, so check them out. It's non-stop action with the Death Ball rules. And now the Dark Elves have a lineman in the Dwarf end zone. They will have to get the ball there as well to score. So the ball carrier will fail his activation attempts. It's now the Dwarves again. It's somehow a locked game. The Dark Elves cannot really get past the Dwarves and the Dwarves themselves. They are quite ineffective as well. They miss their turn completely. And again, the Dark Elf Ball Handler. Well, it's now quite embarrassing. They cannot seem to get the ball anywhere. So we will leave this match right here after 10 rounds of a Death Ball game. And, well, as I said, it's just an example of how to play Death Ball in the mini version. I hope you enjoyed this mini Death Ball tutorial and match. If you're interested in more Death Ball, check out my other videos. I'll put all useful links in the description. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you'll join me for more Death Ball matches, battle reports and tutorials.